you ask for on after a delay, this is it. Hey, what's happening guys? You know, last week we did a video where we made a simple circuit using a MOSFET that turned a uh, circuit off after a, a delay that you can control from seconds to minutes to hours to days. And a bunch of you asked me, how about uh, on after delay? Absolutely. Here it is. It doesn't get any more simpler than this. 555 five, five timer and a little RC network. Let me show you how it works. So here's our 555. Pin 8, of course, goes to VCC. Pin 1 goes to ground. Pin 3 is our output. And in this case, it is going to go to our load, which is a lamp. And keep in mind that pin 3 starts up low. Okay? Pin 4 is um, our reset pin. We, ne we need it to go to be high so nothing bad happens. Pin 7 and 5 we're not using. Now we're going to bring over a capacitor, electrolytic capacitor. In this case we're going to use 470 microfarad. Choose the value for the delay time you want, okay? And that's going to come into pin 2. And pin 2 then is going to go over to pin 6, which is our trigger pin. And then we're going to have a resistor here going to ground. In this case, we're using 10K. This is going to give us a you know, 4 or 5 second delay. Play with the values that you want to get the delay that you want. So the way this works is once we apply power to our circuit, pin 2 starts out high, pin 3 starts out low. Once this capacitor here charges, the voltage on pin 2 starts to decrease. And once it gets below one third of our VCC, it goes low, pin 3 goes high, the light turns on. This is a mono stable setup of the 555 timer. Super easy to do. So there, it, there we have it. We've got uh, pin 8 going to VCC. Pin 1 goes to ground. Pin 2 goes over to pin 6. It also goes over to this capacitor and to ground through our 10K resistor. Capacitor is hooked to VCC. And there's our bulb. And there's our reset. So we'll hook up power. In this case, we're using 9 volts just to light this bulb up bright enough. We apply power, and in a few seconds, we have light. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the capacitor is going to keep a little bit of charge. So, you know, if you something you want to do repeatedly, the next time you do it, the delay is probably not going to be quite as long. You're going to want it to discharge. So you could put a discharge resistor across there or just discharge it yourself. Either way, you're good to go. Super simple circuit. Glad you guys asked for it. Keep asking for stuff. I'm glad to help out. It gives me something to do in this lovely quarantine time. Although the state of Ohio is supposedly getting back to work. I don't know if that's good or not. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. Um, one thing to keep in mind, whatever your load is, make sure it doesn't exceed the load capacity of the 555 timer. Right now we're pulling 150 milliamps. 555 is not even hot, so good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. A dollar a month is all I ask. And uh, 
really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here and there's a link to it down below.